Okay, so I'm gonna start off by priming my face. I'm just going to put that mostly in my T-zone and then with the excess, just spread it for the rest of the face. So now with this jumbo pencil, I'm going to use it sort of like a foundation because I really want my face to be as light as possible. Más pálida lo que ya estoy. Um, but just because I really want the colors that I'm going to add to my face to really pop and stand out. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Put that all on my face. And honestly, ah, oh, it went in my nose. If I would have had that face makeup that they sell for Halloween, I would have used that instead, instead of wasting my, this pencil right here. You can do your ears. I'm not because my hair is going to be covering it up anyway, so I am going to put a little bit on my neck though. Let me go ahead and blend this all out around my face. Okay, so once you look somewhat like this, <laughs> oh my god, what the hell am I doing? I look hella crazy. Normally, witches are green. I'm going to start with a fluffy brush like this. Make sure you don't have any creasing. And I'm gonna go right into some purple. Let's start with something light. So she said. And bringing it all the way up to the brow bone. Here comes the fun part. You're gonna color your whole face with this. I'm looking like the Joker right now. Doesn't have to be perfect, but try to get as much of that white covered up. <clears throat> I just hope my skin doesn't break out after this. Let's proceed. And one more thing, I'm going back and forth between two different colored greens. It doesn't matter if it looks patchy because we're still gonna go in and highlight and shade in. Now we're gonna start Contouring. I want to contour first. So I'm going to go in with a deeper green and just go where you were nor where you would normally contour, but accentuate it. Because see, obviously, you wouldn't contour right here in your wrinkles, right? Right here? Yeah. Going all in. Wrinkles and all. We want to make this witch look as aged as possible now, this is what i have so far it does look like a mustache bear with me it's gonna look fine trust me <laughs> all this stuff is going on my nose man at this point i don't even know what the fuck i'm doing just going with the flow okay go with the flow i already started contouring on this side as well as you can tell Ooh, this is coming along real cute whoa as cute as it can get for a witch, okay? All around the edges. Don't forget the butt chin. I naturally have one, but we're gonna make it extra pronounced because why not? And make sure to um, contour along here too. That way your chin can look elongated, just like a witch's. And I keep looking, you know, in different directions because my mirror is here and then I need to look at the screen. Make sure you can see properly. Oh, I look hella scary. I just hope my brother-in-law doesn't call me because I pick him up from work. <laughs> and imagine me going out on the street like this. People are gonna be, look, be looking at me hella crazy. Oh my god, why did I do this? <laughs> Pero quería un look para Halloween, verdad? I want to contour on the side just so it can make it look more sunken in, if that makes sense. Right here. I don't know. I've always been like a really big fan of Halloween. I guess because, you know, you get to dress up, the makeup, just the whole transformation. Like, I don't know. I love it. I'm going to contour the nose. I've always been into like scary stuff, scary movies, like, I don't know, siempre me gusta like, I guess the adrenaline of things, me gusta la adrenalina. Moving on to the chest, you're gonna contour in the hollows of 
your chest, your neck area, these little crevices right here, just to make it a little more realistic because we naturally have that um, shadowy feel right there. My fingers are all green already. Yes, okay, we're just getting started. I don't know. Does anybody else go all out for Halloween? Now I'm gonna go in with a lighter green and highlight, you know, anywhere that I didn't add the, the dark green. For example, under the eyes. Same brush, by the way. I haven't switched it. Because since it's all green, it doesn't really matter. And if it looks patchy, it's okay because we're still going to keep adding more colors to this. So don't worry about that. At this point, I'm mostly like tapping it in. ¿Qué estoy haciendo, Dios mío? You don't want to really like dig the brush into your skin because you're just going to remove all the hard work that you already applied before that. So let me go ahead and finish doing this. I'm gonna do the same to my neck and my chest. You know, anywhere where there's lighter spots, I'm gonna fill in with this lighter green color. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going back in with that dark green that we started using earlier. Just to touch up, don't worry about this part. Since I am gonna have my hair down, which oh, you don't even wanna look at it right now. But <laughs> that's all gonna get covered up so it doesn't really matter if you want to color that color that part you can go ahead but I'm not going to it's kind of pointless for me honestly I'm gonna do this brown color and lightly start shading in the edges You don't need a lot, just a little bit, just to create more depth. And I'm doing all of this with eyeshadow simply because I don't have the colors I would need um, in liquid form or whatever, any type of Halloween makeup. Okay, so that is that. My nose is itching, but I ain't trying to mess up all this hard work I just put into this. Back to the eyes. I just wanted to put down that purple just so I know what not to cover up, so my purple just can be brighter. So, going back to the purple. Just shade it all in. This doesn't have to be perfect. Tampoco. Blend the edges. Here. I want that kind of like pointy effect on the outer edges. And I am going to use shader brush and I'm going to do a deeper purple closer to the lid. I took this little smaller one. I'm going to create um, wrinkles in my forehead and right here. Everywhere where you, if you raise your eyebrows up, everywhere where there's a wrinkle, shade that sucker in. This reminds me of the video I filmed with my sister on on our channel that we have together, Eminem Avenue. If y'all haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's pretty funny. But yeah, we did the um the age challenge. We did our take on it, and we actually like instead of just using the app to make ourselves look old, we did the whole shebang and actually drew on our faces to make it look like we had a gajillion wrinkles which we do but you know why do it look like frankenstein killing it killing it oh yeah sorry i didn't finish this eye <laughs> i'm gonna continue putting that dark purple on my eyelid and kind of like blending it towards the lighter one i'm putting that dark green under my eyes And I want to make some sort of like ojera, you know, like bags under the eyes. So I'm 
gonna follow my natural ones. You know how we do. Ooh, poke my eye there. <laughs> that actually looks so good. Watch me freaking go outside right now. I'm gonna scare all the little kids. And there's a school like right in front of my house, so. Voy a andar espantando todos los chiquillos. They definitely ain't gonna wanna go trick or treating after they see me. They're gonna be like, what? We ain't ready for that. I'm going back into the eyes because I don't like how they look. I want them darker. So I'm gonna go in with the darker purple and I'm gonna mix it with black. So it should be really, really dark. Now with the black, same brush, but I only picked up more black, black alone. I went into the crease like that. Same thing to the other eye. And that looks way better, look at that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, mm -hmm. I'm already liking it. Girl, you don't know how to contour. Damn, bitch. Okay, she good. Let me add some brown under here because I feel like it needs to be deeper, darker color. And I'm gonna add some to the wrinkles as well. Okay, this is how we're actually gonna do our worm. I grabbed a little piece of a napkin. I just ripped a little bit off of there. See? And I already started um, putting, I have lash glue on my fingertips. And I'm just gonna like roll it with some lash glue. Placing that right here. And we're sticking this on. Okay, so I'm just taking all the glue that was left on my fingers from making this little guy right here. It looks like a cuerno, but... Esperense! No como ansias! I need more paper because this is not gonna cut it. This is gonna be the moment of truth right here. If you guess a mole, you damn right it's gonna be a mole. <laughs> and now with my fingers, I'm just painting my mole. My fake mole, mole, mole. <laughs> there you go. Dun, 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 da, da, dun, dun. This is Halloween, this is Halloween. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. <laughs> I look so stupid. <laughs> Ay, Dios mío. Ya ven lo que y'all make me do. Who requested this? <laughs> oh, I know who requested it. Wait on. I better see you doing this. <laughs> I want to see you doing this. You requested it? Ahora te chingas. <laughs> I'm actually having fun, like, I don't know. <laughs> okay, back to the worm. Since I know it's already dry on there and this glue is like super, super sticky. Watch me not be able to take this stuff off. I'm gonna take this like burgundy color and I'm going to carefully dab it right here. Kind of like the witch's blood. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Let's make the worm, you know what? Let's keep our worm this color. I'm just gonna dirty it up with a little bit of, it's gonna be like a maggot. So let's do like yellow. Ugh, even saying maggot disgusts me. You can't really tell, but it's yellow. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it just don't, okay? That's as good as it's gonna get. Gonna dirty it up like if it has blood or something on here yeah there we go this is so disturbing i wish i could leave this on until my husband got home he's gonna be like what the <laughs> now for the fun part the next fun part i'm gonna draw on my eyebrows but since i am a witch i'm gonna draw on some funky ass eyebrows i'm actually gonna use to start um, and hopefully I don't ruin this, but it's just some um, brow gel. Looks like this. And I'm just going to start 
brushing my hairs up. And I'm actually not gonna go down. I'm just gonna go straight across. And it's okay, it looks brown, but it's okay. We're gonna um, go in with some black in a minute, so. And it doesn't have to be perfect because our witch is ugly. If you wanna make her look cute, that's all you, I'm just giving you the basics, okay? Okay. I hope that doesn't have green next time. I need to use it. Voy a andar en la calle con las pinches cejas todas verdes and shit. Hell no. So if y'all see me out there like that, just, just don't say shit. <laughs> okay, now I'm using this eyeliner. It's black. I'm gonna start creating like pelitos, you know? And they don't have to be perfect. They can be every which way. Why is this giving me like Tim Burton vibes? By the way, I finished my eyebrows. I'm curling my lashes, mascara. Um, I am gonna put black in my waterline. Much better. And I'm going back with that eyeliner and I'm gonna make some wings. For the lips, I really want to do a black lip, but you know what I'm going to do for this? So I'm going to put all this, this chapstick on and I'm going to go with a dark brown and pat it like all over my lips. <laughs> Let me put my lashes on and I'll be right back. While my lashes dry, I'm gonna go ahead and tease the crap out of my hair because I want it big, voluminous, and just messy. Oh my god, I look like a legit witch. For those of you who don't know how to tease, this is how you tease. Grab a section of hair, not too big because then it's not gonna work right. Section of hair. And with the comb, you're gonna start, start in the center and, and, and oh. this is how nappy my hair is. Take two. <laughs> like I said, start from the center like this and pull down. Okay. Pull down, pull down, pull down. And I'm gonna start doing that to my all my head. Really tease it. Uh, the back doesn't really matter too, too much. Depends on your liking. I'm just doing mostly the front and the top. Something like that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is what's gonna make your costume come together. Ahora sí, vámonos a bailar. Pinche cumbión bien loco. Pinche cumbión bien loco. Pinche cumbión bien loco. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? I just want something big all the way around, you know? So, this is gonna suck to detangle my hair afterwards. Por eso no me peiné, porque ya sabía que iba a hacer esto later. <laughs> Says the one that never does her hair. <laughs> No he de ser la mejor ama de casa, pero mínimo de pendejada sí se hacer. <laughs> My maggot chilling right there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hasta baila, mira. Pinche cumbión bien loco. <laughs> I'm stupid. Oh my god. This is the look. What do y'all think? Do I pass? I like it. I think it looks cute. Hmm. Damn, girl. You need to go get your eyebrows did. 
Mira, pinche lunarzote. No manches. That's my beauty mark. Don't hate bitches. We're gonna call her Envious Witch. The Envious Witch. ¿Por qué? Así han de estar mis pinches haters. Así de verde, de envidia. Obviously, you can paint your hands green or wear gloves, whatever. I feel like it would be easier for me to just wear gloves because then you're going to be touching stuff and te van a ahorrar, vas a hacer un desmadre everywhere. You're not going to be able to touch anybody because you're going to get grain all over the place. Oh, by the way, if you want your hair to like stay like this and not move, you know, during the night, if you're going to go out somewhere or whatever, trick-or-treating. Oh my God, qué vergüenza. Está pasando el de la basura. Y me va a ver por la ventana. How embarrassing. He's gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, I'm like super hyped now. So yeah, this is the final look and I hope y'all like it. Give it a try. Wera, I wanna see you do this. I'm gonna challenge your ass. You need to do this because you made me do it, so shit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I hope y'all like my take on this witch. And if y'all try it, tag me on Instagram. Send it to me. Send pictures. Oh, by the way, please be safe. There's all sorts of crazy people out there. Be safe. Stay on the sidewalks. Always be accompanied by somebody. You don't want to get caught up. And something crazy okay and watch your kids please por favor gracias she cute or whatever you know but um yeah so I hope y'all try it and let me know how it goes send me the details peace Y ahora para quitarme esto. ¡Amá! Oh, I'm melting. <laughs> Coconut oil, ladies and gentlemen. It'll save your life from Halloween disasters. Dios mío. I don't know what I did. Now I look like Beetlejuice. Let me go get my ass in the shower.